Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lavina May here, and I'm coming to you guys with, I guess, kind of an interesting video. I hope that you guys find it interesting. What I'm basically going to do, so they just released some more Koro Koro leaks, and I thought, you know what, they've released a ton of Pokemon now, so why not make a video about what my team is, which is basically kind of like a top six Pokemon that I like, but it's more than just like... It's just basically like my top six favorite Pokemon, but I'm going to be calling it my team, and in the end I'm going to tag a few people, so look out for your name, and yeah, I'll jump right into it guys. So, first Pokemon is going to be Rowlet. Now, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to put a starter, because most people keep their starter Pokemon on their team throughout the game and whatnot, so my favorite starter as of now is Rowlet, but that could easily change there have been some leaks of the final evolutions and i'm sure you guys have already seen this but this is what Rowlet's final evolution is supposed to look like and it's pr they're pretty confident people are pretty confident that this is a true leak so i'm basically basing it off of that and like i said this could change if Rowlet's final evolution does not look like this but as of now Rowlet is my favorite just because i just love the or like the owl archer idea I find it so awesome I don't know it's one of it's an awesome idea I think and I really love it so that's what I'm basing my route decision off of um, and that could change the second they release the final evolutions and I see it's not this but as of now this is my favorite and my set and you, while I'm talking about my favorite Rowlet I'm gonna talk about my second favorite based on final evolutions which is Litten Reason why is my well, if it's a fighting type, that drops it down to the bottom because there's too many fighting fire types in this game. Just there's a lot of people talking, and most people believe that's actually going to be fire dark, which I think is not bad typing at all. And I would love if it was fire dark, so that's why it's my second favorite because I'm not really sure if it's going to be fire dark or fire fighting. But if it's fire dark, it's going to be up there, and I'm going to have trouble to sign between Rowlet and Litten, but. Rowlet is my favorite so far, just because I love the Archer. Now, my next Pokemon on my team is Rockruff. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, oh, it's just a little dog, it's not that cool, whatever. Well, true, it is just a little dog. But, I'm basing this decision, like, I based my Rowlet decision off of leaked final evolutions that are most likely going to be true. I am basing this, again, off of so-called leaked final evolutions which is this in this case it's not really a leaked final evolution more a leaked idea of what the final evolution is going to be so based on a ton of details there's an extremely good chance that Rockruff's final evolution is going to be a werewolf and that's going to get two evolutions i would guess one for sun one for moon because i feel like that would make sense from like to me because i mean it's in Moon it might evolve into the werewolf, but in Sun it might evolve into something else, I don't know. But we'll see about that. And again, you guys probably already know all this stuff. This is not new, I'm just telling you guys my opinions. And I just wanna, I'm just going to read this to you guys really quickly. Rockruff is a sociable Pokemon, but as it grows, its disposition gets wilder. If it begins to howl when the sun goes down, that is proof that it's close to evolving. It's said that it leaves its trainer's side to evolve and returns again when fully evolved. Like, that right there... That is, a that is the official flavor text for Rockruff, and if you guys have not seen that, that, to me at least, for me, is 100% guaranteeing that it, it is going to be a werewolf. I mean, it begins to howl when the sun goes down, werewolf right there, it turns into a werewolf when it gets dark. That is proof that's closely evolved, which makes complete sense. And then it said that it leaves its trainer side to evolve and returns again when fully evolved, because I am a Harry Potter fan, and if you guys see in Harry Potter, Werewolves are not very safe when they turn into werewolves. And even when they are werewolves, they aren't very safe either, but really the most dangerous part is like beginning when they turn into them. So I feel like this really just clarifies and like 100% guarantees that Rockruff, one, at least one of Rockruff's evolutions, will be a werewolf. Now, this also brings up a different point. There was another leak, and maybe I don't even know if, it was a, if it's a leak now, but there was this other thing that was said, which is that Rockruff, I think it might actually not be a leak at this point, it might be something officially said, is that Rockruff shares something in common with the starters that's special. Now, again, this proves so much, I feel, 
and backs up the fact that people are saying that the starters will have two different final evolutions and the fact that Rockruff shares something in common and that Rockruff is very likely to have two final evolutions really makes me think that maybe these leaked final evolutions are only one of those evolutions that the Pokemon can have and it might could have another completely different evolution, different typing and stuff like that, which I think is kind of extremely likely given if you guys saw the, I don't know if it's really considered a leak, but the little thing that was found like towards the beginning when Sun and Moon was announced, which was the typings of what they think the typings of the final um, evolutions are going to be for the starters. And again, as I mentioned, these leaks have been pretty much guaranteed to be true. So, but if, it, if the starters do have two different evolutions for each starter, then those original leaks just make complete sense with the um, multiple, with the um, different typings that they think the final po evolution Pokemon are going to have for the starters. Make complete sense. I mean, Poplio being plain water type. Actually, no, water fighting, I think, was what popular. No, was it water fighting? It was either plain water or water fighting. I, can't, I don't really remember now. One of those two. Then you got fire fighting, which I would not be happy about with Litten, but it may, but I would be fine with it if it also has the dark fighting var I mean, the dark fire variant. And with Rowlet, they have the grass ground typing, which would also make relative sense because Rowlet, I believe, is modeled after a burrowing owl, and they have burrowing because they have burrowing owls in Hawaii. So that would make complete sense if it has another final evolution that may be grass ground instead of grass flying. It would be really cool too. And another reason why I'm super excited about Rockruff and I really would want it on my team is just check out this drawing that somebody made of what the final evolution could look like. Don't tell me you don't want that thing on your team. That thing is so cool. That is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite Pokemon leaks so far. Now, again guys, you know, this is my Alola team, so I'm not going to be putting Pokemon from past generations, but if you guys have been watching this stuff, um, there have been this new type of Pokemon called Alolan Pokemon. And I would consider those usable in this because of the fact that they're completely different typings, completely different moves, completely different everything from their original Pokemon, so I consider them new Pokemon. So my next Pokemon is going to be Alolan Knight, Ninetales. I personally love this Pokemon so much. Ice Fairy typing, I think, is amazing. Like, even competitively, yeah, it's gonna die to like any um, fire or steel type. But, like, I personally love the typing, and I just love this thing's look. Like, look at this thing. This thing looks so majestic. Like, I would definitely want that on my team, and. I forget who it was, maybe it's ran a or somebody said this is exactly how they would it, how they think Ninetales should look and or should have originally looked because like you're in the stick of the middle of like nowhere and then you see Ninetales, there it is, like so majestic in the middle of like a barren wasteland. So I think that I agree with him 100 percent I think that Alolan Ninetales is the design is incredible. Like it's super simple what they did. Like if you look at Alolan Ninetales, I'm you're probably gonna be seeing just like part of the screen right now. But let's look up normal nine tails and compare. Now we have regular nine tails here. Okay, I'm gonna copy this actually and put it right next to that Alolan nine tails. Move this over a tiny bit and put this here. Now, if you guys look, like they're really similar. Like this one's just a different color, more majestic. But I think that it looks so much different than the original nine tails, and I think it looks so much better than the original nine tails actually. So that's just my thought. I mean, if you look like it's little like hair thing is even is more lo is like longer, more majestic. I love the blue. Like it's like just changing the colors, but at the same time, it's awesome, and I love it so much. And that's why I really would want that thing on my team. Now, next Pokemon, which was kind of hype when it was announced, but I feel like the hype kind of died down over time. But I still think it's one of the coolest Pokemon ever made. Personally, is Vikavolt. Or Vika, what I don't know how to pronounce this name. So I'm gonna apologize. I probably just butchered that name, but Vika Volt, Vika Volt, however you pronounce this thing. I think that this thing is so cool. I mean, having the regions bug type be bug electric is awesome. And just given like its final evolution and how it looks, 
I think that it's awesome. It's gonna be a real. I feel like it's gonna be like the counter, like I don't know, like the counterpart of. You know, I want to say the counterpart of Mega B Drill, like similar idea, because it has. But because I feel like it's gonna be really fast, but have really high special attack instead of physical attack. But we'll see about that. Is I think that this thing's so cool because it's electric bug type, but it also has levitate, which makes so much sense, and it's just perfect for this Pokemon. And this is actually one of my favorite Pokemon that has been leaked yet, if not my favorite. And just want sorry while I'm here, guys, I tried to stay away from legendaries because I feel like that's kind of like, oh, obviously you're gonna want these legendaries and I think they're pretty cool, but I just tried to stay away from them. Looks like the other Pokemon. So next, a few out. I'd say like maybe like an hour before I made this video, there was a Koro Koro leak with a couple new Pokemon, and my next Pokemon is from that leak. It is called Shiro Disuna. Now, again, I probably butchered that name. This is not what the actual name is going to be. This is just the translation of the Japanese name. But Shiro Disuna is supposed to be a Sandcastle Pokemon. Now, I don't know. I think it's just me. I love this Pokemon already. I think that it's such a cool idea. It's a it's a ghost ground type, which I don't even it's probably a type, but I'm actually curious. I'm gonna look that up guys quickly. Um reconnect. Look up if there's any ghost ground types. Sorry about this guys. I'm curious because I I feel like there probably is, but I'm not really sure. Ghost ground. I'm probably missing something. Yeah, Golurk. Okay. So there's Golurk, but this thing is awesome, and I love this Pokemon so much. Like, I can't wait to see what its moveset is and stuff. But I just like the idea and the look. Like, this is like... I don't even know how to explain it. I'm saying like a lot because I am in shock at this Pokemon. Because you guys probably are just like, oh, what's the big deal? Is this Sandcastle? But I don't know why. I love this thing so much. And this is, again... Up there with Vikavor as my favorite Pokemon announced so far. And I don't know, I personally just like it. Leave your, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. You guys are probably going to think that it looks like stupid, things like that. But I personally love it. So I am excited to see that thing and see what ability it gets, what moveset it gets, that type of thing. Now, next, and my last Pokemon, my sixth Pokemon on my team, is another Pokemon from the recent Korra Korra leak, which is a Lolan Marowak. When I saw this thing, I was like, <laughs> that is perfect. Because, think about Marowak. I, I think that Marowak should have been Ground Ghost, personally, just due to the, like, the story that it has in the game, where like, oh, it got killed or whatever. So I think that it should have been Ghost Ground from the start. But obviously it wasn't, it was gra just plain ground. And then they went here in this Coral Coral League and revealed this thing. And to say that I love it is an understatement. I think that this is what Marowak should have been, like, originally. And it's incredible. It's a ghost fire type, which I think is perfect. I mean, like, I did not need, like, the fire on, like, the bone, whatever. But I personally think this is the perfect Marowak right here. And this is, again, these last few Pokemon are probably my three top favorite Pokemon announced so far. Um, so, like, <laughs> this is incredible. I, like, I literally have no words to describe how much I love this Pokemon, because I just think it's perfect. Like, just given Marowak's backstory and just given the design, I think that this is the perfect Marowak that they could have made. And while we're on this Marowak, I'm just going to speak about something else that I was just kind of thinking of. If you guys look, I, I think that they already announced somewhere that all the Alolan Pokemon are only Gen 1. Which makes complete sense, given that the only games that are really compatible so far with um, Sun and Moon that they've announced are the original games. So you can trade in the original Pokemon into this game, stuff like that. But I think that it would be amazing if Nintendo decided to go all out, put it all on the table right now, and make a Lolan Pokemon for every single Gen 1 Pokemon that's not a Legendary. So basically that's every single Gen 1 Pokemon except for Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Mew, and Mewtwo. And maybe Ditto. So like, I think that that would be amazing. If that's 
what they end up doing, which they probably won't end up doing all of them because that's a lot of Pokemon. But if that is what they end up doing, this game, even though this game already looks incredible and I cannot wait for it to come out in November, if they make every single Gen 1 Pokemon an Alolan Pokemon, oh boy, that's going to be amazing. This will probably be the best Pokemon game ever, which is really saying something. Because Pokemon is an amazing series, and like I love the games, but if they do every single Gen 1 Pokemon, except for the few that I mentioned, in Alolan forms, I would be so happy, and that would be like a dream come true for me. Now, that those are my top six, my my team, what I would want on my team so far. Um, so next, we are going to jump into who I'm tagging. Um, I'm tagging Aaron2420. Xiaomi 15, Vortex Maestro or Ramon, Night Spear Ben, Simia X, and Sky Trainer Silver or Matt. So, I would love if you guys could make a video. I'm really interested to see what you guys think about this. And consider this a tag video where you guys are now tagged, and I expect you guys to make this video at some point because I'm actually curious to see what your top six Pokemon are, what you want your Alola team to be so far. And. Just like I said, just to restate, I guess the rules, so to speak, there's no legendary Pokemon, and that's about it. You can use like different leaks and stuff that are considered very likely to happen, and that type of thing. Just no legendary Pokemon, that's all I ask, because obviously Silver Leo and Lunala are awesome, and I cannot, and they're really cool and I love them, but where's the fun in using the legendaries? I want to see what your opinion is on this. Given all the Pokemon that were released so far, not including the um, the legendaries. So, again, I'm going to say it one more time, tagging Aaron, Shami, Ramon, Ben, Simia, and Matt. So I hope that you guys make this video. Obviously, I'm not going to force you guys to if you guys don't have the time to. It's not the end of the world. Um, I know there's more important stuff. But I would love it if you guys made this because I'm curious to see what you guys think. So, yeah. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that, and not the last video, I kind of just needed a video to put up for someday, so I decided to make this, and I hope that you guys enjoyed that, so peace out YouTube.